brilliant sunshine once again for the last day of the Ascot meeting, and the Queen and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, arrive together to see the big race of the day, the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Second favourite was Acropolis, owned by the Dowager Lady Derby. This is the biggest prize in the British flat racing season, over £23,000. And expectation that Madam Susie Volterra's Derby win would be repeated made an odds-on favourite of Phil Drake. There he is. Other big names in the field of ten were Hugh Lupus and Arctic Time. The King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Stakes for three-year-olds and upwards is over a distance of one mile and a half. Soon after the off, Doug Smith took Acropolis into the lead, closely followed by Arctic Time, Phil Drake and Hugh Lupus. And what looked like developing into a tight fight between those four raised the excitement to heat wave level. In the straight and coming along to the finish, Acropolis was steaming along, followed by Arctic Time. Phil Drake was fading. Then suddenly out of nowhere came Vimy. His jockey had lost his cap and Vimy passed Acropolis to win by a head. <laughs> Vimy was owned by Monsieur Wertheimer and trained in France, and the brilliant last furlong dash through by jockey Roger Poincelet and Vimy made a first-time victory for France in this top money race.